is my story before we put the index This is when things get a little more in depth Read it through, believe it's true This is all I needed to leave a new path to a cleaner view Welcome everybody to Behind the Bar 6, make some noise! <laughs> this is the first league battle, on my left coming from Manchester we have EVIL! <laughs> on my right coming from Birmingham we have Plain and Simple, make some noise! <laughs> Everybody's been quiet man, so you got a bit of a tough judge and he's deciding to go first. Come on Evo! I'll flip if you want, I don't mind. It did dog shit! Uh, Answer this, what do you want? Yep, yeah, Evo. So, first round on Evo. <laughs> Upon writing this battle, I had the worst case of writing block I've ever had. I ain't taking a piss, but any battle rapper that claims he have it should gain inspiration from this. You come from spit rolls, right? That crowd had you gas. Really gave a pound it. Now see straight in peak game. You get beat easy. There's no three ways about it. Nice. Alright, yeah. but look. See, I find it a pain. You can get away with getting away, so you can take a bout on the stage in the rain. I think you're just here for the giggle. See, my rain will take flight like a plane. I stay nice, but wait, it's a battle. What do you think? I came here to stay civil? Have a joke and a laugh and shake your hand? Now bro, those comedy lines don't fly with me. See, I come with the right angles like 90 degrees and people say I'm acute, man. Like this 45's mm. in my jeans, but the only time I'm busting a weapon is when I throw a right to your cheek. Nice. So you wanna try it with me? Well listen here. See, everyone knows that you won't beat me. So open your mouth and try and get limpy with me. I will kick your fucking teeth in. Literally. And physically I'm a bigger MC, I snack on rappers, man, I don't eat them. But if you're holding a bit of weight, I will bench press you to the ceiling. I'll throw you down to the ground so quick gravity will think I was cheating. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I don't believe it. You think you're winning this battle? I see there's a very slim chance you could do with a wing, man. But I bet if you grew a goatee, you could fucking land a plane on that chin strap. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Time, it's yeah. yeah. First round, plain and simple. Yo, Warrington. Now, when I first met Dominic, I thought, what a prick. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did his confidence look like it needed knocking, but his cockiness was prominent and imminently obvious. Which is ironic as shit. Because after your last battle, you ran to your missus in a hurried sprint like, I didn't choke! I remembered everything I wrote! <laughs> <laughs> fucking love it. What did you think that was an accomplishment? But if there's one thing I can compliment, it's that your incompetence is promising. Now, do you want to know how I know that your tracks are just copied this to complete and utter shit? I just listened. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you've got about as much rhythm as if a drum kit was given to a bomb victim with all his fingers and thumbs missing. It's non-existent. Now, do you know what instantly springs to mind when somebody mentions Mr. Webster? What's that? Kid molester. <laughs> what else? A crystal method addicted gypsy settler. What else? Slashing red dick in jester, making willy gestures. What I mean, else? how the fuck can you rip up sets when you're as interesting in this sector as a stick collector's twig collection? <laughs> And simple. You've got the swag of a finger and a Samaritan at Christmas because the presents may be there, but the wrapping is abysmal. Time, make some noise! Second round, Evo. Right, so you want me to get in your face? You want to go back to his frocks? I climb down your windpipe after the bush, you know, so you use your lungs as a speed bag. Give me intestines, skip your rock. <laughs> well, fuck Rocky in his beef, man, the only thing I'm hitting is bones. So listen, bro. And I hope you keep listening in. It's just for good measure, I'll kick fuck out of your ribs. Stop your fucking bladder and then punch out of your skin. You see the blood ooze drip and drop down in your timbs, man. It looks like a scene from Alien the way I pop out of that shit. So this battle here is like putting a shit sniper that's aimed, that's you, against a fully loaded 12 gauge flaming at close range for the way that I leave you face down in this place. Well, you don't need to blush, bro. Yeah, I could teach you a lesson on the beats. But you would think he's in love with the way my punches have swept him off his feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see if you're on my bandwidth then, bro. You've been throwing out weak signals considering you're supposed to be a threat. But why fight? Everyone in here knows you haven't got the strength. Your structure is weak at best, see, my man has got no respect. And my wordplay is out of this world, bro. I'm all over the internet. I.e. You might catch me on safari, aiming a scope at your mum. <laughs> <laughs> or flying an M16 so I can fire Fox 1 and leave him crippled. Then I'll land on your chin. 
Go looking for your previous bird, but it's not what you think. No, I don't want to explore or browse or rest set. She's skinny, spotting, and decrepitly thin, bro. See, I would get in your face, but I don't want to step on your chin, so I'll take a step back, but don't turn to the side, because you might knock me out with that thing, yo. <laughs> Time. Time, it's a blow. Second round, fairly simple. Look. See, I'm not bothered by this monotone novice, so even if he thinks that he's got a, I'll still call him a shotty horror clone, because I know that he pisses him off. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, you cunt. You're just a regular, ordinary, average, everyday, normal rapper who acts the fool to cover up the fact that you look like a crack-abused Orlando Bloom after 40 bags of shrooms. <laughs> You're not unique or possess any interest to me in a lyrical sense, you don't impress or amuse me. I'd much rather be stuck in an induced sleep or spoon feed myself roofies consecutively for two weeks than listen to you speak with the rhythm of two feet and as much content as a drip with a tube leak. Well. I mean, really, you feel that? Who's he? <laughs> Come on with that piss poor Steve. You look like Sean Bean if he was addicted to morphine. <laughs> And yet you still seem to be cocky. I just wonder why. You're more full of yourself than a cannibalistic obese cook on a hunger strike after a hundred nights. Plus, just the way that you construct your rhymes justifies me winning by default, but oh well, at least you fucking tried. <laughs> now while I'm on the subject of trying, I watched you try it with Master Razor too, just to find you choked as if you caught a whiff in which to prove that someone died. And on that note, fuck your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Third, final round for the Evo. Alright, look, you really haven't got a lot going for you, have you? Rummy, ugly, and ginger. <laughs> <laughs> you have a chin the size of a blimp that was relevant from when we had Hitler. But go figure. <laughs> what did you think I was going to bring to the table? Your dinner. Let's <laughs> <laughs> have a family photo, right? That consists of you, your mother, maybe your sister. If you got a baby, then bring it round along with your babysitter. See, I got a frame. Wait, there's something missing from this picture. And I'm about to get deep, and it takes balls so people listen. Fuck um, <laughs> So, Mr. No Ego, you will never gain respect as an artist. This is your funeral. You set your grave. So you can lie next to your father. Call it time! Oh. Make some noise! Third and final round, we're playing it simple! So last week I was chilling, blazing a cheese roll, eating bagels and cheese rolls, debating if you were a worthy opponent for me to body in beast mode. The conclusion, however, should be evident. No, we don't. Because <laughs> even with 11 men, you could never match me and be a pro Evo. Nah. Now while I'm on name flips, let's aim a bit higher. How can this aimless, brainless, ignoramus aim to inspire when rumour has it at fresh on the scene you thought Evil had made a mistake on the flyer and turned up, tied up, to be raped in wire? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, whether that be the case or not, that makes you... Whether that be the case or not, it makes you as gay as the Shire. Now look, whether that be the case or not, it makes you as gay as the Shire. Now, your mum, now nah, wait, forget that, I just want you to accept facts. You see, when it comes to music, I'm truly a blessed man, you're useless at best, and in a battle of lyricism, this usually ends bad, like losing a ten bag. Because if, <laughs> if this was a race for the pen craft, I'd be so ahead that I'd see the check flag before you buy a whole ten laps. Now, I've gone three whole rounds without mentioning sisters or stepdads, clitoris, wet flange, or fist in your dead man. <laughs> I didn't feel it was relevant to bring up your family's checkered past to spit a generic rap just to get an extra laugh. But since I'm near the end of the last, I thought, fuck it, if you can't beat them, join them, then I'm a dead that. Because, brother, your mother's so much of a sket that not only does a pussy resemble a wet bag that swallowed my left hand, but that bitch has been on plane so much he still suffers from jet lag. <laughs> now, after all that, I do actually feel bad for you because if this. Battle wasn't judged. If I was in a coma and this battle wasn't judged, there actually could have been a slight chance you would have won. <laughs> but let's face it, you're not top dog. A family butcher you may be, but a gangster you're not one. In fact, you're less of a Raekwon and more of a Gokwon. <laughs> <laughs> less of a battle rapper and more like Manchester's champion at Hopscotch. You should be glad you're even battling now. Just thank me and fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> rap battle, bitch! Rap battle! <laughs> Let's go to judges! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Uh, average Keith, um, I'm going for plain and simple three now. Yeah, Evo was alright man, his first two rounds weren't too bad. Um, obviously he made it a lot easier by choking the third. But plain and simple, I thought he actually bodied them in the first two rounds anyway, and the third he was really fucking sick, so I've got to give it to plain and simple man. Um. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. <laughs> all three rounds. Evo was good. I think he's got a lot of potential, but like he just didn't seem all as confident, and his, his performance weren't as polished. And uh, he had a minor choke in the third round, but what he what he was actually touching on when he choked was kind of rebuttaled in the third round by plain and simple. So we'll give that to him for you now. Welcome back to Behind the Bar Six. If you enjoyed that battle, make some noise. Coming out of Norwich, check them out. And the winner is three to zero, and it goes to Plain and Simple. Make some noise! Yeah, yeah. Future Rapsy Wire Champions. Check it out, man. <laughs>